Today in our 2011 Honda CRV, we will be installing Kurt Class 1 inch and a quarter trailer hitch receiver, part number C11555. Here's what a hitch looks like once it's been installed. It's nice and tucked up behind our bumper here, so you don't have to worry about running your knee or your shin into it when you're loading items in the hatch of your vehicle. It's a real easy installation. You don't have to drill any holes, just have to large two holes that are pre-existing a little bit. Just a quick little notch in them to slide the hardware in place. Hitch is held in place with three bolts. It's a real quick installation. It takes hardly any time at all. Now this hitch is a class one that has a 200 pound max tongue weight rating and a 2,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. Obviously you want to consult with the owner's manual of your CRV to figure out what the vehicle is rated for. We have these nice, easy to use safety chain loops here. They're really thin here, so even the smallest diameter safety chain hooks will snap into there real easy and they won't fight you trying to install them. Since this hitch is a class one, we have our standard inch and a quarter opening here. Additionally, we have this nice collared sleeve around the opening of the receiver to add a little extra reinforcement. We have our standard half inch diameter hitch pin opening, so you can insert your hitch pin or your locking device to secure whatever hitch mounted accessory you may have. Now for a few measurements to help you choosing any hitch mounted accessories you may need, such as bike carrier or cargo rack. You're looking at about seven inches from the center of the half inch diameter hitch pin hole to the rearmost point of our back bumper. And you're looking at about 12 and a half inches from the ground to the top of the inch and a quarter opening in the receiver. Now that we've gone over some of the features of our Kirk Class 1 hitch, we'll show you how to install it. Now the first thing we need to do in order to install our hitch is lower down our exhaust a little bit. I'm gonna lubricate the exhaust hangers here with some spray. This is help them slide off a little bit easier. Just one on either side of the muffler. Now with them lubricated, we can come over pry bar behind them, pry them forward, and fold it off, doing the same for both of them. Now there's this large round hole here. We need to enlarge it a little bit on both sides. It's the exact same image as on the passenger side as it is here on the driver's side. I'm going to go ahead and show you the passenger side real quick just so you know where it's at. So here it is on the passenger side. Now we're gonna go back to the driver's side and we'll start making our hole. We'll take our rotary tool here. Let that cool off for a bit. All right, now we'll take our fish wire here, one of our small carriage bolts. And we'll thread it onto our fish wire. Take one of our large spacer plates here. We'll put it on our fish wire as well. We'll thread the carriage bolt inside the frame, followed by the spacer plate, and we'll pull it down into place. We'll remove our fish wire, and we'll do the same on the other side. Now with the help of an assistant, we'll raise our hitch in position and install it with these two nuts here on either side of our frame. And here we are on the passenger side doing the same thing. And we're good. Now we'll take one of our spacer plates here and our long carriage bolt, insert it. Take another spacer plate here Followed by the final one, drop it on down, we'll raise the hitch up, and push it on through. Then we'll take our hex flange nut and we'll loosely install it. Now we can start by tightening our hardware on the sides of the hitch first. Now with our hitch in place and all of our hardware tightened down, we can now torque them to manufacturer specifications found in the instructions. And we'll do the same on the other side. All right, with our hitch torqued down, we can now raise our exhaust back up. Okay, now that we got the outer one here on, we'll get the 
inner one here towards the center of the vehicle on as well. And that completes our installation of the Kurt Class 1 inch and a quarter trailer hitch receiver, part number C11555 on our 2011 Honda CRV.